Welcome back guys, in this teaching video I'll be looking at 8.1 Pascal's Triangle. 8.1 represents chapter 8, section 1 of the Pearson A Level Maths, Pure Maths Year 1 textbook. Let's have a look at the facts of this section. Now first of all, what does binomial mean? Well, bi represents two and nomial represents terms. So binomial is two terms. In this chapter, we're going to be looking at expanding binomials. So we're going to be expanding brackets to a certain power, but within the bracket, we will have two terms, a binomial. Now, Pascal's triangle, what does Pascal's triangle look like? Well, first of all, we're going to start off with a one. Then on the outside of the triangles, we're going to have ones. So a one here and a one here. Now in between one and one will be one plus one, which is two. And then on the outside, we will have 1. In between 1 and 2 will be 1 plus 2, which is 3. In between 2 and 1 will be 2 plus 1, which is 3. And on the outside, we will have 1. In between 1 and 3 will be 1 plus 3, which is 4. In between 3 and 3 is 3 plus 3, which is 6. In between 3 and 1, which is 3 plus 1, that is 4. And on the outside, it will be 1. Okay, right. In between 1 and 4, we would have 1 plus 4, which is 5. In between 4 and 6, 4 plus 6, which is 10. In between 6 and 4, 6 plus 4, which is 10. And in between 4 and 1, 4 plus 1, which is 5. And on the outside, 1. Okay, so the triangle continues in this particular pattern. This is called the Pascal's Triangle. Right, we're going to be using Pascal's Triangle in order to expand binomials. Here is example one. We're going to expand 3 plus 2x to the power 3 using Pascal's Triangle. First step. We take 3, we raise it to the power 3. Multiplied by, take 2x, raise it to the power 0. Plus, we take 3, raise it to the power 2, multiplied by, take 2x, raise it to the power 1. So each time, what we're doing is we're decreasing the power of 3 by 1, but we're increasing the power of 2x by 1. So the next term would be 3 to the power 1, multiplied by 2x to the power 2. And final term would be 3 to the power 0, multiplied by 2x to the power 3. Okay, so over here we have one, two, three, four different terms. We go to the Pascal's triangle and we identify the row with four terms. And that row will be this row here. Now each of these terms are the coefficients of the first, second, third and fourth term respectively in this expansion. So this first term will have coefficient one over here. The second term over here will have coefficient 3. The third term will have coefficient 3. And the fourth term will have coefficient 1. Okay, so now what we do is we simply simplify each term. So the first term will become 27 plus the second term will become 54x plus the third term will become 36x squared plus the fourth term will become 8x cubed. And that there, ladies and gents, is the expansion of 3 plus 2x in brackets to the power 3 using Pascal's triangle. Example number 2, we're going to expand 1 minus x to the power 5 using Pascal's triangle. The first step is to list the terms in this expansion. So let's do this. We've got 1 to the power 5 multiplied by minus x to the power 0 plus 1 to the power 4 multiplied by minus x to the power 1 plus 1 to the power 3 multiplied by minus x to the power 2 plus 1 to the power 2 multiplied by minus x to the power 3 plus 1 to the power 1 multiplied by minus x to the power 4 plus 1 to the power 0 multiplied by minus x to the power 5. Okay, so what we've done is we've decreased the power of 1 by 1 each time, but we've increased the power of minus x by 1 each time. That is the pattern. Now over here we have 1 
two, three, four, five, six different terms. So we go to the Pascal's triangle and we identify the row with six terms. So that row is this row over here. One, two, three, four, five, six different terms. So this is the row that we're going to be using in order to identify the coefficients of one, two, three, four, five, six different terms respectively. So for the first term, the coefficient is one. I can put that over here. Second term, the coefficient is five. I can put that here. Third term, the coefficient is 10. Fourth term, the coefficient is 10. Fifth term, the coefficient is 5. And sixth term, the coefficient is 1. Okay, so now I can simplify each term. Let's start off with the first term. So the first term becomes 1. Okay, second term becomes minus 5x. Third term becomes plus 10x squared. Fourth term becomes minus 10x cubed. Fifth term becomes plus 5x to the power 4. And the sixth term, the last term, becomes minus x to the power 5. And that there, ladies and gents, is the expansion of 1 minus x in brackets to the power 5 using Pascal's triangle. Right, on to the final example, example number 3. Over here, we're going to expand x plus y to the power 4 using Pascal's triangle. Let's first list the terms in this expansion. So we've got x to the power 4, y to the power 0, plus x to the power 3, y to the power 1, plus x to the power 2, y to the power 2, plus x to the power 1, y to the power 3 plus x to the power 0, y to the power 4. So again, we're decreasing the powers of x by 1, but we're increasing the powers of y by 1 each time. Right, now we need to identify the coefficients. Over here, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 different terms. If I go back to the Pascal's triangle, the row with 5 terms is this row over here. Okay? we have one, two, three, four, five terms. These five terms are my coefficients. So the coefficient of the first term will just be one. Coefficient of the second term is four. Third term is six. Fourth term is four. And the fifth term is one. Right, so I can just simplify this. The first term is just x to the power 4, plus second term is 4x cubed y, plus third term is 6x squared y squared, fourth term is 4xy cubed, and the final term, the fifth term, is y to the power 4. And that there, ladies and gents, is the expansion of x plus y in brackets to the power 4 using Pascal's triangle. Okay, so that there, ladies and gents, is the end of this teaching video, 8.1 Pascal's Triangle. If you found this teaching video useful, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, turn on your notification bell, so that you receive notifications every time I post teaching videos.